No, I only hear that bird saying "shree, shree, shree." Now you know how it is for me. That's what I hear in my head all day. Ooh, look how fancy it is! Woo woo! All right, we're gonna put this out indoor outdoor shower so we can clean some of our clean our feet and stuff like that so we don't track stuff inside the bus as well as some of like you know like if we go to the beach you know sand or, or washing off our wetsuits whatever so we're gonna put this dude right here and we're gonna tie into the water underneath that means more pecs but that's all right What's that? Oh no. More heavy stuff. It's almost already cut through, so. Almost done. Ooh, look how fancy it is. Woo woo. Awesome. Okay, now we gotta put the, uh, we gotta put our little pex ends on here so we can start getting pexy. What is going on? I can't get this stuff to commit to this. Because it's plastic instead of metal. I don't know. But everybody who commented about me wrapping it the wrong way, you'll be so proud that I learned from you. Right? I get a gold star. I get a gold star from YouTube. Want a high five? Mm -hmm. High five, baby. Very nice. Make sure this is going straight. This stuff has a tendency to cross thread these. This things. was like our smallest purchase at the plumbing supply <laughs> store so far. It was still fifty-seven dollars right? for just this, just this stuff right here. And a roll of a stick of pecs. And a stick Twenty of feet of pecs. Oopinor pecs. Oopinor. I felt so cool saying that in the store. I know I they probably thought like, she pecs. must be a plumber. Doesn't have to be too tight. There we go. All right. You know, butyl tape is a wonderful thing, but this backing on it is just enough to make you crazy. See, look, for no reason. It's like it's totally easy to get this stuff off. Oh, right at the end, see? It's just to keep water from settling on these edges down below and rusting our stuff away. So, it's really not a big deal. But, it does just make for a better finished product. It always does. Snug working under here. I can't see it. <laughs> okay. Okay. God, this place sucks. Okay, I have to cut a little bit out of that one. For this to work. There we go. It's draining the whole system right here on me. I could just stop getting wet right now, it'd be awesome. Oh my God.
That's hot? Okay. Okay. So I just need, hand me the elbows. All right, thanks. Contortionist. <laughs> I didn't know either until a few minutes ago. Houdini the bus builder. Able to use strange tools in obscene positions. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, okay, hand me the blue packs. You'd be so pretty and colorful under here. <laughs> the only color coordinated section of the whole bus. Those, yeah, the part we can't see. <laughs> Covered in mud after the first outing, we'll never see the color again. Everywhere else in the bus is just mud. Who did this? Were they colorblind? <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my honey, I still love you even though you're colorblind. That was pretty easy peasy. That was the easiest project we've done in the bus. <laughs> we got to pressure test it though, but it's done. Oh God. Ooh. Oh, I can turn it off right there. And then rinse. Oh, it has the lever to turn it off right there at the head? Mm-hmm. And then it has cool. this little thing here, too. We could probably mount it up here if we wanted to. Ooh, turn it on. Let me see how it shoots out of there. Nice! What a good little, like, foot rinsing spot. Have a little stepping stone, a little beach mat. And then we can mount a little thing up higher on the side of the bus if we want an outdoor shower. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a cold one. Nope. Because we have a hot water hookup right there. Got a little bit of unfinished business on the bus this morning. I've needed to run power wires up to the security system, which is right there, which is a giant disaster. I need to clean that up but I need to run power back to our fuse block. So it shouldn't take that long, certainly not worth the whole video. So this is some unfinished business. So this right here is the way I need to get the wire from the uh, front of the bus below the windows to above the windows. And you can see I've already got quite a few wires running through there. Then we'll run them down this side of the bus here to get it back to the uh, to where the fuse block is right here so this is our big ugly electrical panel somewhere up there is our wire boom so we got that now we got to feed it up front through all of our this area it's a nightmare we lost audio on the microphone, but I wanted to explain what this little device here is. This is a, uh, a voltage conditioner and it takes whatever voltage and just makes it 12 volts, but nice and stable and nice. Um, so it's like a 12 volt to 12 volt converter. And that's all it is. And I use that for the security system there. You can see the wire that I ran down the wall and around the front and now it ran all the way down to the back of the bus to our fuse block so it wasn't very complicated to do it was pretty simple and we just wired it in and we we're able to run the security system now off the bus power which is actually being run off a three amp power supply which is that right there which is completely inadequate for the whole bus but is doing the job for testing One thing that Carrie wanted in the bus was um, 
a three-way switch and what that is is you know if you have a long hallway and you turn on the light at one end of the hallway so you can get down the hallway and you get to the other end and there's a light switch over there that turns off the same set of lights and you know for good reason Carrie wanted to have something where when we came into the bus uh, we could turn on the lights, but then when we're heading back and going to bed We don't have to walk all the way back to the front of the bus and then walk through a dark bus Which could be really dark all the way back to the back of the bus. So um, I wired in this now. This is obviously not where we're gonna have it. And that would be silly, but um, the, This allows us to uh, turn the lights on so if you look Lights are on here and we'll turn it on and we'll walk down here to another temporarily installed switch right here and we can turn the light off again. So that's just a little something we added. Um, I just used the three-way switch diagram I found online. It's meant for 120 volt lighting. And so the wiring colors that you would normally use, like red being your positive and stuff, don't apply. So you kind of have to do a little bit of uh, conversion. So we were in the plumbing supply store and we were asking about getting some uh, some insulation for the pipes so we can, you know, keep the hot water hot while we're soaping up and whatever. And the guy's like, yeah, oh yeah, we got it. It's like six bucks. And we're like, oh, yeah, we'll wait. And as we were walking through Walmart, they had this big box in the aisle and of these little tubes here and 98 cents. <laughs> like, oh, well, that's easy. Six dollars to cut a slit, and it's about this easy. Done. Six dollars for that. So, yeah, go to Walmart. Super cheap. That's actually one single layer of... Of that linoleum. Yeah, that's, that is a linoleum. Right there. Okay, out, out that goes, layer by layer now. Damn it. God, this thing is a pain in the ass. God. Oh, hey, look. Oh, got another <laughs> layer. baby you can do it there it is nice all right man that's hard work really all right let me go get my cool where's that little thing a little butyl tape Makes the world go round. <laughs> Makes the bus go round at least. That's right. And it's going to prevent little critters from getting up in our business. I mean, bustiness. Our bustiness. They would be getting up in our business, huh? Like really in our business. Hello. Oh, hello. Did you cut yourself? Yeah. Uh-oh. Can you give me a small piece of wood like this long and about that wide? Something on the ground right there? It can't be thick as a two by four. It has to be smaller. That's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Couldn't ask for a better one. Still it fell out. I 
I got Owie right here. Kiss it. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> My poor honey he got beat up by a vent. Yeah, that's a mean vent, though. Am I in your way? No. What's in my way? The bus. <laughs> I'm grateful that we have enough room to sit up under here, though. Yeah, it makes too. it a lot easier. It's in. Sheesh. You know, that edge won't go any further, but... It's because it's so tightly into that it's, thing. Yeah, wedged in as so tight as it can get. It's not going to come out. It's not going <laughs> and nothing's going to come in right there. So, All right, so we got our little drain hole cut here, and we mounted our little drain flange thing. And then this will go on top of the floor we put in. These wires will go out underneath. And uh, this is the fan that always runs with the uh, airhead toilet. So we gave it a nice big exit right there. And that'll be it. And we'll put an airhead right here and the tube will come out and go like that. And we can even cut the tube back. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we've been through this before. Go, get out of my way. I'm having claustrophobic issues and I'm gonna get pissed. Did you just hear me do that test on the radio? Thank <laughs> you.